We built the Dominator basketball hoop to look good and to last. It's important for us to have our products look good. In fact, it's important to you. You're gonna put this on the outside of your house, either on your driveway or on your side court or backyard court, and you want it to look good. We want, we want it to add value to your house. We want you to be proud of it. We did build this basketball hoop to look good. It's got a single arm coming off the main pole. There's not a bunch of monstrosity of poles and arms that are shoot, that are going up to the corners of the backboards and that are cantilevering out over the main pole. It's very nice looking and streamlined product. You'll notice that in the areas that take most of the force, especially during dunking, someone dunks on the hoop and kind of hangs on the rim. This section takes a lot of force. These, are, these bolts are going through a half inch thick collar that's connected to this pole here. So that, that's very, very beefed up, very, very much beefed up there. And you'll notice also here where the plate from the arm connects to the rim, that's also a half inch plate. Uh, also, uh, you'll notice how durable this and, and beefy these welds are where they need to be beefy and the quality of those welds are impeccable. Also, all hardware that is um, at all exposed to the, to the elements are stainless steel. And they're, um, they're stainless steel um, here. You'll notice that it's, you're using stainless steel here and, and all, the, all the rims everywhere. We we'll, we'll use stainless steel. We also have um, this plate that we, that we call the uh, adjustment plate or wheel. This is made out of aluminum and the hardware is also stainless steel. This handle is turning the, the sprocket, the chain sprocket that's inside, riding inside, and you'll see how easily I'm able to adjust this hoop. Due to the gas spring being connected to the, to the chain sprocket, it just makes it very easy to move it up and down for uh, an old guy like me or a young kid. You'll also notice that when you get to your desired height, this pin fits in, the, in that design slot and that holds it in place. Also built inside this pole is an added safety feature that we felt like was important. This pin is keeping it at the desired height. Also the spring is pushing up, pushing up on the basket. So this basket should never just fall down. But just because we care about safety, we've added an extra safety feature. It's just like a safety belt in your car. There's a safety belt in here. If there was ever some kind of catastrophic failure, to any of these, uh, to the spring or to this, um, they would both have to fail. But if that were ever to happen, which we've never seen happen before, but if it were, that safety belt would catch and uh, prevent the hoop from falling down. So there really are three different um, features built into this hoop so that it should never come crashing down on someone. Underneath this plastic cover, you'll see that these Nylatron rollers, these are very high quality uh, material called Nylatron. They're strong and durable, will last forever. Those rollers that are connected to the outside pole are riding against the inner pole. If you look down in there, you can see that they hold that, that inner pole steady. Let me put that cover back on here like this and set them. And when you put the, when you put the uh, pad back on, it covers that.